Increase Mather early in the 1680s warned that with all of the problems we had seen, King Philip's War, the various uh, the out- outbreak of war with the Indians, the loss of the charter, all of this was evidence that Satan was at work and that God has with- had withdrawn his support from Massachusetts, from the Puritans here. And Mather speculated that with all of these bad things happening, we could expect to see the agents of Satan, witches, appearing among us. He leaves for England, but then in 1688, the people of Boston do, in fact, see witches operating among them. Two children of John Goodwin, who was a carpenter, Elizabeth and her younger brother John, uh, Elizabeth was around 11 or 12 and John was a bit younger, went to collect the family laundry from the Glover household. Goodwife Glover was an older woman. She was from Ireland, had come to Boston by way of Barbados. Her husband had died in Barbados and actually on his death had said that his wife was a witch. We're not quite sure what the context was. She is at home when the Goodwin children collect the laundry. And when they get home, they discover that some things are missing. So they go back to the Glover household and accuse Goodwife Glover of stealing things from the family washing. She gets angry with them, says things to them in Gaelic, looks at them in strange ways, and it terrorizes the children. And when they get home, they crawl around on the floor barking like dogs and behaving in strange ways. The family goes to go to their neighbors for counsel. What do you do when the children are bewitched? The neighbors suggest things like throwing a pudding into a fire, and if there's a witch, she will fly in after it or putting sagebrush on the uh, entryway to the house, and a witch won't be able to cross that. Instead of uh, using these folk remedies, they call on Cotton Mather, the son of Increase Mather, and Cotton has taken his father's place as the minister of the North Church while his father is in England. And Cotton Mather takes the Goodwin children into his home and prays with them, The children still continue to exhibit these bizarre symptoms, and then Mather, as the magistrates look into the Glover household, and they find in Goody Glover's possession a poppet, or a puppet, a little doll, and that's evidence that Goody Glover might, in fact, be a witch. There is other evidence, too, that she cannot say the Lord's Prayer in English. She actually can only speak Gaelic, and her... She's able to say the Lord's Prayer in Latin, but she does talk a bit about her prince. She said she's in service to her prince. And Goody Glover is tried for witchcraft. She warns that even if she is executed, the Goodwin children will not recover because there are other witches in a league with her. And she is executed. The Goodwin children do not recover immediately, but eventually they do. So Goody Glover hanged on the common for being a witch, and Cotton Mather then um, continues to pray with the Goodwin children, who do stop barking like dogs and crawling around on the floor. And then Mather writes a book on witchcraft, Wonders of the Invisible World, how you recognize what's going on when there are witches among us. And witchcraft, it's not a manifestation that an individual person is evil. It's a manifestation of Satan's power and a sign that God has withdrawn his support from you to allow witches to flourish. Mather's book becomes the way New Englanders understand witchcraft. And just a few years later, when young girls in the town of Salem, north of Boston, start exhibiting bizarre behavior, Mather is called on as an expert witness because he did, in fact, write the book on how you understand witchcraft.